All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week number 12 of the Thunder Racing League Pro Series. This is the Kenny Irwin Jr. Memorial. At this time, I will ask that you rise and remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watch were so gallantly sleeping and the rockets rubber the bombs bursting in air they proved through the night that our flag was still there oh see does that star spangled shouldn't have to deal with that sorry about that we're still working on getting the bugs worked out here as I am new to the broadcasting thing they are doing the drivers meeting right now as you could hear a little bit of that um, I am broadcasting this is my first live broadcast well tonight in general is my first live broadcast uh, so please, if I need to adjust some audio, let me know. I will try. I know that's a little bit delayed, but go ahead. Just let me know, and I will adjust it as needed. Um, 
I do know that I need to work on the ums. I just, I promise you once those cars get rolling, they won't be anywhere near what they are as I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I am showing 19 cars, I believe. 17 have taken a time with your fastest one being Bobby Evertson with a best lap of a 9751. So sub 10 second laps. And your top seven are all within, well, the entire field is within a second. Your top seven are within two tenths of a second of that top spot. So probably going to see some good racing. Track's going to slick off quick tonight. We should be advancing almost as soon as they get done with the driver's meeting. As you do see the scoreboard up there scrolling through the drivers that have taken a time. Looks like we are getting some cars back out on track. Oh. Shouldn't have much longer before we advance. Should be three heats tonight and then the feature event. Everybody transferring directly into the A main as we do not have a full 24 car field. <coughs> hey, Jay, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, we're going to let her rip. All right. There you hear it, guys. They're going to go ahead and advance it to qualify them. get this show on the road. The hammer down, the hammer's gonna be down and the dirt's gonna be up. I will see if I can bring my volume up anymore. How is that? Is that better? Or do I need to bring the cars down a little bit more? All right, looks like the Pro Series somehow got open qualifying, so they're gonna hot lap for qualifying. Should still be two laps. Got two cars out there right now, the 31 and the 5, it looks like. 15, I'll bet is who that was, J.P. Schneider. Got Brody Brown coming in at the fastest time right now. Usually we don't hot lap qualify them, but apparently we are tonight. Trying to see who we got out here on track as everybody is starting to wrap it up. It looks like they get two or three laps a piece. So everybody is out there running them clean for hot laps. We haven't had too many issues that don't look doesn't appear at least in this session of hot laps anybody that knows i racing knows that we don't necessarily get to control which group we see so with this format of 
qualifying. We're just looking at one group. I'm not quite sure which group it is. As now we got the, what appears to be the two car. No, that's not actually the two. This is the 92 that is on track here. That is Dylan Ayler. As you can see for qualifying, the track is already pretty well slicked off. They're going to be slick from top to bottom tonight. I guarantee it by the end of this 40 lap feature, there's not going to be much moisture to grab onto. Right now, Corey Jantz has the fastest lap at a 10.804. With the entire field being within one second, uh, everybody but the 20th place car of Ian Humphreys is within half a second here in qualifying. So it's going to be close racing tonight, I guarantee it, as we got just under two minutes left in qualifying. 20 cars have qualified. We have 20 cars that have registered, so everybody has qualified. We do let the clock run out just because there isn't a ton of time for the drivers to get in. We don't do a, lar a long practice session for the second race of the night, so we do give everybody every minute they can to get in. So please bear with us as we... Get everybody finished up here, or as we get time finished up. Right now, your pole sitters for the three heat races. Well, we will have four heat races with 20 cars. That'll be four heat races. Your full pole sitters will be... The 138 of Corey Jantz, the 344 of Cody Brown, the 92 of Dylan Ayler, and the 20 of Austin Medea. Those are your top four drivers. Those four drivers will lead their respective heats to the drop of the A main. Fifth on back. Fifth, you got the 23 of Christopher Schaefer. Behind that, another BBR teammate of... The 91 of Kyle Sargent. Seventh is the 97 of Alex Hanna. Eighth will be the 15 of J.P. Schneider. The 233 of Jared Colbertson will be ninth. And the 008 will round out your top ten. That is <coughs> Bobby Evertson. As we get ready to line up for heat number one. You see I'm starting to take grid here. You got the 138 on the inside. 23, that is probably the 23 of Schaefer. Out there to his outside. Then another 23 to the inside of him. The 19K, that's Corey Kerstetter to his, the outside of that second 23. Fifth. Actually, the two. Got the two on the side. All right, so that'll be, he's being scored as the seven. That two car is scored as the seven. And they're off the green flag is out. They head down into turn one and two out of three and four. They're two and three wide behind the leader. This is the battle for second. Jantz off to a pretty demanding lead. Sabo, Schaefer, no 
goes to tail. That is your battle. <coughs> Sabo into the wall a little bit. Schaefer around to his inside. Sabo looking back to the inside. There's still a little bit of moisture down low. Really got to be disciplined in these four tents to run that bottom side here. Is Sabo looking low. Now he's side by side with Schaefer. Down into one and two, or three and four. Now down the front straightway into one and two. Saber has it. Schaefer pulled it strong to the outside. Now he moves to the inside. Here they come. Adam down into three and four. <coughs> Jan still a comfortable lead. They've all it pretty well single filed. This is your Biggest battle right now as they are still single file. Starting to spread out a little bit. Jant. Oh, you see him. He's running the high side. Second place seems to be kind of running the middle line. Third and fourth down low. Already starting to spread out all over the track. Now, Jant's a little bit of a lane change goes from the bottom to start to run the inside. You see it where you can find grip. As the white flag is out, oh, that is the race. So Jance takes home that victory there. As we get ready to line up for the second heat, they ought to be coming up. Popping up here shortly. There they are. You got the 344 of Brody Brown to the inside. To his outside is the 91 of Kyle Sargent. Inside row number two, the 008 of Evertson. To Evertson out, Evertson's outside is the 91 of, is that the 91 or is that the 97? Not sure which number that is there on the outside. Looks like a 90. Okay, so 91A. Not sure who that's actually being scored as. And then you got Matir rounding out the field in fifth. Looks like Grim starting fourth there. And the green flag is out. They dive into turn number one and two. Brody Brown <coughs> off to a demanding lead. But not so fast as here comes Evertson. Evertson trying to reel him in. They are tight behind that 344. Here they go. 91. Look at on Evertson. Mateer to the inside of the 91. Now he's going to the high side. They're side by side for third. This is your battle right here between the 91 and the 64. You see him dive into the corner and back out of two. Down into three and four they go. Matir into the wall. That allows the 91 to get by. As they hit the, take the cross flags. Halfway, five down, five to go. The 91 starting to pull away. Is Brody Brown still out to a big lead? Second place is the 008 of Evertson. Evertson a good lead to the 91 of Sargent. Sargent, just as Matier starts to close up, he ends up getting back into the wall. And Matier. Grim is off the track. The 91K is off the track. 
So there's your 344 Brody Brown. One lap to go. He will come get the checkered this time. Uncontested for this heat. As they are all single file to finish out the field. That's what we like to see. 10 up, 10 down. As we get ready, we move on to heat number three. As we wait for them to grid. All right, there we got your pole setter, the 92 of Dylan Ayler. And to his outside is the 97 of Hannah. Inside row number two is the 35 of, it looks like Jansen. To his outside, the 49. Can't really read the name on that. It's hard to read the name in my little box here. As you can see, I do not have any timing and scoring. Not as of yet. They are one to green. Ninety-seven and ninety-two will bring them to green. Ninety-two on that loud pedal coming out of four. Here they go down to turn one and two. Nose to tail. Side by side they bounce off tires. You got one up into the wall. Ninety-seven dropping quick. As Ayler out to the lead. Got the 49 running second, running right up against the wall. They're spread out. Here comes the 90. No, the 49 to the outside makes the pass. Ayler back with a run to the inside. Does not get it. The 49 hat carrying the momentum to the outside. The battle, though, now is for that third position it looks like it's a three-way battle back there as their nose to tail on that high side the 35 the six of Olsen the 35 of Jensen the six of Olsen and the 97 of Hannah we're all bump oh there's contact and no caution Apparently no caution for that. Apparently they were able to get out of the way before the leaders came down. You got Avilia Johnson. Or Avilia, Ayler, and Jansen. Avilia out to a big lead coming down to one to go. Over Dylan Ayler. Ayler, easy second place over Jansen, who is a comfortable lead over the six of Cody Olson. All right, this is our fourth and final heat. There will be no consolations tonight. Try to get, get you up front here, so let's see here. Trying to get you a good view of these drivers. All right, you got the 20 of Austin Medea to his outside. 
Is the 15 a JT? JP Schneider. Inside row number two is the 31 of Zane, Wal Zane Walters. To his outside is the 55. Can't read the name on that 55. And in rounding out the field is the 53 of Ian Humphreys. He is scored as the two, but is in the 53. We will take it back up front with Medea for the start as the pace car should duck off this time around. Pace car is off. Medea on the loud pedal as he leads them down in a one and two. They are three wide for second. There goes the 15 of Schneider up on the high side. He's up along the wall, into the wall a little bit, still maintaining that second position. Right now, it is Schneider still trying to track down Medea. Two wide for second. Schneider getting a run on the high side. Closing the gap ever so slightly. You see that battle for third as well. Schneider up into the wall, loses a little bit of ground. Now the battle for third. That is between Walters and Satterfield. Walters working the high side. Now Satterfield has caught Schneider. Schneider still working the high side. And Satterfield is working the low side. Now they have caught the leader. Schneider working the outside of Medea into the wall, bounces it off the wall. Still keeps his momentum. He's clear of the 20. Gets a little bit loose. Contact. 20 saves it. Drops a couple positions, but he does save it. Schneider off to the lead. Still working that high side. Right up against the wall is Schneider. Their single file is Schneider, takes the white flag. JP working that high side, coming out three and four to get the checkered flag. JP Schneider ends up winning the race over Robert Satterfield, Austin Medea, Zane Walters, Ian Humphreys. Now we will go into a missing man three wide thunder. Thank you. For in memory of Kenny Irwin Jr. We are waiting for the drivers to start lining up and then I will make the call. Give you a good field, a good view here of how they line them up. Looks like they pretty well take it formation. Here they come down the back straightaway. We'll put them in your living room for the call. Should be seeing them come out of three and four. Here they are. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are coming out of turn number four. Take notice the inside front row is left open. That position is for you, Kenny Irwin Jr. After that, they are three wide to tell each and every one of you thank you for the support and views. It's the three wide thunder. Thank you. 
All right, and rigs can control. There they are. They're advancing it. As these drivers get every little bit of track time they can get. All right, so your lineup for your A feature. The 138 Accordy Chance is outside the 344 Accordy Brown. Brody Brown. Inside row number two, the 49 of Ryan Avila. Out to his outside is J.P. Schneider. Starting fifth is Jared Colbertson. To his outside, you have the 008 of Bobby Evertson. Starting seventh, the 92 of Dylan Ayler. Eighth will be Robert Satterfield. Inside row number five is Kelly Sabo to his outside. Rounding out the top ten is the 91 of Kyle Sargent. Starting 11th is the 35 of Miles Jansen. To Jansen's outside is the 20 of Austin Medea. Starting 13th is the 23 of Christopher Shaver to his outside the 64 of Matthew Mateer. 15th is the 6 of Cody Olson. With, to the his outside, it is the 31 of St. Walters. 17th is the 19 of Corey Kerstetter. To Kerstetter's outside is the 91M of Matt Grimm. He is scored as the 16. Rounding out your field in row number 10 is the 97 of Alex Hanna and Ian Humphreys in the 53. That is your 20 car A feature lineup, 40 laps around I-55. Here they go, pace car is off, and Jens is on the loud pedal, heading down to the one and two. It's a hornet's nest behind that 138. <coughs> As here comes Brody Brown to the end. They're three wide for second. And yellow. Yellow is out. As it looks like they ended up stacking them up pretty deep. As you see here, looks like just a little bit of contact. Gets one car loose and then ends up collecting one more. Shouldn't be too much damage on either one of those cars. They should be able to keep going. And we do do, in the Pro Series, a Delaware restart. So we will see them lined up again. As I believe we did get one in the books that time. Running order is Jantz, Avila, Brown, Schneider, and then Culbertson rounds out your top five. As there you see them, they're lining up in that Delaware restart. Restarts are on the leader. Pace truck is off. Jantz is on the loud pedal. Here they go. They're they're flipping, they're wrecking. It's a big flip behind them. That looks like the 08, double 08. Caught up in another one. We're going to go on board with that double 08 here. Right there, you see a little bit of contact. Over he goes. Lost the front wing there. Still got another car that is upside down, it sounds like. Man, what a... 
What a heartbreak. Super early in the race. You hate seeing it. But that's that's racing. You get that many cars that close, you end up getting getting cars together. As here they go, they're gonna line them up one more time. This is your second attempt at a green white or at a Delaware restart. They should have one more after this. And then they will go single file for the remainder of the night. And Jant back on the loud pedal. And there they come out of one and two. You see the hornet's nest. You see them all there from that blimp. Three, four wide towards the back of the pack. And big trouble up towards the front. Looks like the 49 got around Jance, and Jance ended up in this deal here. There you see the 344 get low. Just start stacking them up the rest of the field that we're lucky that wasn't any bigger than it was that that was no that wasn't a small incident by any means but it could have been a whole lot bigger and a whole lot worse see Jantz came in got his quick repair this should be our last attempt at a Delaware restart as you got the 49 up front. They're lined up, Delaware restart style. Pace cars off. Oh, you have one stop down low. Looks like he was gonna hit the pit road. I don't know if he made it. Green flag is still out, I'm guessing he did. As you see him back there, three, four wide. Oh, contact between the 64 and the two, the two. Just nice, light and over, lo loses his front wing. He will end up having to tow. As we're gonna go ahead and get them sorted out one more time. Re-rack them, re-stack them. We're gonna try it again. Your top five. The 49 of Ryan Avilia, the 35 of Miles Jansen, the 6 of Cody Olsen, the 55 of Robert Satterfield. And in rounding out your top five for his 410 debut of the season, season debut, is the 31 of Zane Walters. Took most of the season off. He's finally back with us for tonight. Looks like we're going to double file him up one more time. As they get the one to green. By your screen here nice little field of cars getting not quite as many as what we call for 
And here they come into your living room. The battle is going to be back here, third, fourth, fifth on back. You see them all, two, three, four wide. Where are they going to go? This is hard to go. Oh, there's contact between the five and the 64. They collect three, four, five, six more cars. Oh, my Lord. Let's get an ambulance to one and two, ambulance to one and two. Man, debris on the track. Four, five, six cars involved in that one. And it starts between the five and the sixty-four. Collects Jantz, collects Man, four or five cars. Most everybody can drive away. A couple people did have to tow. Man, it is a rough, excellent start for that 138, but man, once it started going south, it has gone south. See if they single file them up now. They should be getting the one to green. And that was my bad. I was not caught up. They are green. As you see the leader out there by himself, they are single file. battle right now is around this position we are looking at eight sixth fifth pretty much fifth on back is where we're looking right now this is your biggest battle on the race there's contact between the 15 15 goes around he's able to get her back going not before the caution comes out. I do not believe anybody else was involved in that. 15 just runs over the right rear of that 19 and loops it around. Cannot fire off before he the caution is thrown. So we are again back under caution. 15 down. 15 of 40. So we're not even halfway yet. They are one to green. Pace cars off. And the 49 is back on the loud pedal. Back off to a good lead. The battle is behind him. 39. 35. Not letting him go. 35 right in his tire tracks. Now he gets a little bit loose. Again, loses a little bit of ground. Right now, here's the battle for fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You see the 31 working high, 008s working low. Now, Zane goes to the inside, looking for something on the 97. Doesn't quite get it. Walters right up into his tire tracks. And 008 
makes a, has a little bit of contact as him and the six go to battle. This is teammates side by side down into one and two. 15 to the high side as we got another spinner on the front straight away. No caution. You've seen him just slide through your through the screen and then keep going. The battle right now is the six. The 34. Oh, the 19K is in the wall. Loses several positions. Ends up. Oh, and caution. Caution is out. That is the 23 and 53. As Ian Humphreys gets the worst end of that, has to park it to keep from getting hit. That is what we ask the drivers to do right there. If they do get spun around in the track, make sure that you do not go until the cars are clear. We are now past the halfway point. We have 18 to go. That means 21 are down. Your leader is now the 35. As your previous leader is showing a couple laps down, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if that might have been the car we seen spin while we were watching the other battle. But regardless, 35 leads them to the green. He's on the loud pedal, off to a good lead into one and two. They're side by side for second. 97-55. This is your battle now. Right here, 97 working the inside. Here comes a 31, looking to the high side of the 97. 008, looking to the high side of the 31. see him dive down into one and two things are starting to heat up for the lead still nothing quite happening yet the battle is between Walters and Evertson Evertson's looking high Walters continuing to run the middle of the track Evertson puts it right up on the wall gets a little bit of a run but Walters able to power out from underneath on that low side now, Evertson follows in the tire tracks. We'll go back up towards the front as that heats up just a little bit. The 55 taking a little bit lower of an entry, but still can't quite get him. The 35 pulls away on exit. <laughs> the 31 008 still going at it. Now, Evertson working the very bottom. You see a couple cars in the wall behind him. That is the 15 and the six battling. 15 up into the wall, six around to the inside. Now 15 working the inside of the six. Schneider inside of Olsen, Olsen to the outside. Schneider, slide job, three wide as they come down into one and two. Olsen with a slider, Schneider with the crossover. Now, oh, oh, little bit of contact there. Everybody keeps it going in the right direction. We got seven laps to go. You got Walters trying to track down Evertson. 35. Hat still has a comfortable lead over Satterfield. Satterfield, you see it has about equal spacing back to Hannah in the 97. And then you have the 008 of Evertson, who started to gap the 31 of Walters. Walters, though, cannot shake the number 19 of Kerstetter. Kerstetter looking to the outside, looking to the inside. 
behind Kerstetter. You see the 15. He's coming. He keeps bouncing it off the wall. <coughs> Who knows what kind of damage could be done to that 15. Behind the 15, you got the 92 and the 34. Oh, shows the 6 back here. There's the six of Olsen battling with a 344 of Brown. And your winner, I'm sorry I did not catch it, was the 35. Man, once they got it going green, they clicked those laps off quick. But your top 10, the 35 of Jansen, the 55 of Satterfield. The 97 of Hannah, the 008 of Evertson. Zane Walters in the 31 brings home fifth. Sixth goes to the 19 of Corey Kerstetter. Seventh to the 92 of Dylan Ayler. Eighth to the 15th of J.P. Schneider. And then rounding out your top 10 is the 91M of Matt Graham. All right, as we will wait for these drivers to climb into the waiting room, we will bring them in in order. As they get in here. All right, I believe we're pulling up Miles now. Is this Miles? This is. All right, kind of hard to tell because your name's not <laughs> not what yeah. it is here. So um, I was just kind of guessing. Um, so walk us through your night here. Uh, kind of a last second decision to join. Um, my team, one of my teammates was in this and decided, uh, why not? I like 410s and I like I-55, so I joined in. Qualified not too good. Got an EOL in the heat race for missing the driver's meeting and got a good finish in the heat race and I knew that in the future, as long as I just kept it clean and tried not to get involved in everybody else's mess, I'd be all right. And got up to second pretty fast and leader just ended up spinning out on his own and disconnected and never looked back from there yeah I uh, see in the comments where uh, the 49 posted that his monitor went black and he led a decent amount of that race I believe um, I don't know what happened to Jance I know he led some of it but um, you're gonna be with us next week when we roll into Cedar Lake Oh, absolutely. I love Cedar Lake. Um, oh. I'll 100% be there as long as work doesn't conflict. <laughs> absolutely hear that. Um, so you think you're going to do pretty good at Cedar Lake now that you've been able to kind of size up the competition a little bit here in the Pro Series? Yeah, I ran this, ser this league a couple times last season, and I was pretty confident coming in each night. I just couldn't ever get it done with... Um, I think I had Wi-Fi cut out on me a couple times, and I think I got taken out by my own teammate a couple times as well. <laughs> um, I do love Cedar Lake. I grew up at Cedar Lake in real life. I know that track like the back of my hand, and it's definitely coming off of this win going in the next week is going to be bring go into it with a lot of confidence. Uh, well, definitely uh, looking forward to seeing you next week and maybe talking to you again. Um, welcome to the league. Great having you here, and hopefully we'll talk to you a little bit more, and hopefully we'll see you in a lot more races come season 3A as we end up spreading it out through over three nights. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to what the future, what the future will bring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is your winner, Miles Jansen. That is the first time I've gotten to talk to him. Also, the first time I get to talk to this guy, the 55 of Robert Satterfield. Robert, you got a copy? Yes, sir, man. How you doing? 
doing all right. First time I've remembered getting to talk to you. Uh, I haven't seen yeah. your name around a whole lot, but definitely yeah. glad you're here. Yeah, I've missed a few races. Ain't ain't got to run the whole season this year, no. uh, based on work. But uh, you know, we jumping in and trying to fit in where we can, and you know, stay consistent, try to run some laps against these guys that does it every day. I mean. It's, it's tough when you don't get on, but once, twice a week, you try to run with guys. On, oh, you know, yeah. I'd, five I'd, nights a week. I definitely understand that. I mean, I pretty much about the only day I race is Sunday. So, <laughs> and uh, that's I didn't about even, how it is for me right now. I didn't even do that this week. So, um, but congratulations on the podium. Appreciate uh, it. Next week, we roll into Cedar Lake. How do you feel like you're going to do there? Uh, are you, I, I feel I'll be decent. Uh, probably top five car should be if I don't hang myself in the fence. I have a tendency to do that there sometimes when I get up on the, on the cushion. But uh, definitely got a good setup for that track. I just need to get blocks and laps in it, get, you know, get my marks back down. I, I should be pretty good. All right. Absolutely. Any sponsors, shout outs, anybody you want to thank for getting here tonight? Absolutely, man. I want to appreciate all the guys over at Phantom Motorsports, Power Outdoors, Wackle Sportswear, Velocity Race Design. I appreciate y'all for putting this thing on in the broadcast. Congratulations to Miles on uh, the win. I thought I had a little something for him, but uh, I called him. I just couldn't get around him. So. Yeah, well, what, what do you think it would have taken to get around him? Well, with the, you know, running the same line we was both on, I mean, I was waiting on him maybe to bump the wall a little bit and not and have to let out the gas and maybe i could have got by him like that but i really wasn't gonna throw no bad move on the dude i i, I known him for a while he's a pretty good dude so i don't i wouldn't throw no bad move on him yeah absolutely and i mean we don't want we don't like seeing bad moves thrown yeah, around anyway that, that, so that's not that's not the way i i, I race so i mean you know i'd rather finish second and and come home with a clean car than to throw a bad move and crash somebody and, and get the win. That's just not the way I want to race. Yeah, absolutely. And we look, we actually really like seeing the uh, clean racing ourselves. I think it actually leads to better racing, closer finishes than some of that dirty stuff you see other places. So, right. All right. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on the second place finish. And hopefully we'll talk to you again. All right, man. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. You too. All right, All right, that was your second place finisher, Robert Satterfield. And then rounding out your podium is the 97 of Alex Hanna. You got a copy, Alex? Yeah. All right, walk us through your night. Uh, well, first off, uh, qualifying, I knew the track was going to be pretty slick. So just kind of threw in a couple different things. Uh, didn't work out, so heat race. Um, just kind of sorted some things out, um, figured out a little bit uh, better of a way to get momentum on the uh, slick track. So uh, come feature time, I was pretty dialed in. All right. Anything you could have done to beat Jansen or Satterfield in front of you? Uh, two pretty solid drivers. I mean, um, I was just watching the two kind of ahead of me, trying to figure out what lines they were running. Um, I tried multiple different lines to try to catch them, but I couldn't find anything. So seemed there at the end, we were all pretty even, so can't complain with that. All right. Next week we roll into Cedar Lake. How do you feel like you're going to do there? Um, Cedar Lake and I have a love hate relationship. So, uh, just kind of depends on how the track looks and if I can drive the car or not. All right. Any sponsors, shout outs, anybody you want to thank for getting here tonight? Um, just want to thank uh ABR Setup Shop and uh, uh the social outcasters. Um the people that are within that group know who they are, so shout out to them. All right. Well, congratulations and definitely pretty sure we'll talk to you again. I don't think this is your first podium. I feel like we've talked to you before, so yeah, I think this is my third time getting third place, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll uh, talk to you again. I know we talk about you quite a bit, so. Yeah. That's usually a good thing, so. Yes, it is. 
All right. Congratulations on the podium, and we will talk to you later. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and with that, I do want to thank all of our sponsors, School of Sim Racing. They provide the Rookie Series with their fixed setups. Giddings Mobile Repair, they pay for the entire racing tonight. Um, <clears throat> Stevenson Family Performance. I do want to throw a huge shout out to Dirty Dogs International for their broadcasting. They were sick. Or Dirt Dogs International, I apologize. Uh, Jacob was sick tonight, so that is why we are here on Thunder Racing League TV. But we do want to throw a shout out to them and a get, get well soon, Jacob. Um, looking forward to having you back next week. And other than that, I want to thank all of you that support the league, whether it's drivers, those of you that watch the broadcasts, the wives that support the drivers. Um, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys and everybody, all the board of directors that make the calls on and off the track, race control. Without you guys, this league wouldn't be here. So I appreciate those of you that step up and answer the call when I made the call and uh, look forward to continuing this league for a long time to come. With that, y'all have a 